So the heart is the fruit, is this head-like process. It, it indeed periphery impulses from it, and from there on it might be again um, brought into the body or something like that. Uh, sometimes I use the image of me in the sea. You know, I'm in the sea, in the water. I'm fully one and all with the water. And then suddenly I raise my head out of the water, look around, oh, look at there, the sea. At the, sa at the same moment I see the sea, the water, I'm aware of myself. And then I go back. And I am sea. I don't know where I am, who I am, what I am, because I am sea. You get me? And then I wake up. Oh, that's me. There's the sea. And that's what's happening. It's, it's, a, it's a possibility of emancipation, and emancipation is a possibility of perception. We need heads to perceive. We need heads to be aware. But this is the very primeval head. That's why so many people experience themselves still in their heart. Here I am. Ask it to a heart attack patient. It will tell you how existential the fear is when your heart stops. Your head can stop. You can live without the head. You cannot live without the heart. Many people do, but... Okay. <laughs>